Hey Deckers, Starfield implemented FSR 3 as well as XESS 1.2 balance and it's actually made quite a difference. Unfortunately it's not going to give you a massive amount of frames per second difference but it does look 10 times better. Also I did notice they fixed the eyes, they're no longer very odd and it does seem like most of the NPCs have kind of almost normal eyes now and they do also move around rather than just staring at you aimlessly. So that's also a big bonus. Okay, into the performance then. As you'll see, it does still dip down here and there, especially in some cutscenes, just some run slow, for example. And in A Killer City, it really does still lag somewhat under the 20 FPS mark. But for the most part, my best settings for this now are start with the low graphics preset, put dynamic resolution at 80%, and the FSR 3 upscaling mode with everything else pretty much stock but we'll also set the dynamic resolution off in a second. But I just wanted to show you that if you try and turn FSR frame generation on, the Steam Deck just can't handle it as it doesn't have that RDNA 3 unfortunately. So it just introduces a ton of stutter and frame time issues and you don't actually game any frames per second. So not recommended to turn on frame generation. As far as XESS 1.2 goes, putting this on balance yields pretty much the same results as FSR 3 does. However, it does take a slight more performance hit. But if you do prefer the clarity of XESS 1.2, I would recommend using this if you can. Although I am going to show FSR 3 for the rest of this video, but for the most part, when XESS 1.2 is implemented, that is usually my upscaler of choice. Okay, so film grain intensity down to 50% on the FSR 3 and turning that dynamic resolution off. This is the way that I played the rest of this game and I'm going to compare it to the previous mod version that we had, which is the way that we got the best kind of balance of performance out of this previously. But what you're going to notice is we're going to get pretty much the same frames per second, but the quality and clarity difference using the FCR 3 is just out of this world in comparison. Obviously, we lost a lot of shadows and contrast in the modded version to get that extra frames per second, but now we get that without the need of the mod. So you can see how pixelated this is with the old mod in battle, and we're struggling to hold that 30 frames per second mark in this battle at this mining station. As we switch over to the FSR 3 version, it still doesn't quite hold that 30 frames per second absolutely solid. We still get a little bit of pixelation with the FSR implementation, but overall it's just a lot clearer and smoother and doesn't look like it's been downscaled to hell. So as we put them back side by side in a bit of firefight, we really see the clarity difference a little bit more. However, unfortunately, when we go into town again, especially into New Atlantis, although we see that quality difference somewhat, we definitely don't see a performance improvement in the slightest. This is unfortunate. However, the clarity difference does make up for it. And unfortunately, it does still dip down into those 20s fairly regularly, no matter what the version is in big towns like this, and especially in Nicola City, it really dips down somewhat as well, which is what you saw at the start. But as you can see from the old mod, especially with those shaders not working very well, it really did look quite bad. I'm not quite sure how we managed to play with it on this version, to be honest. Whereas now with the FSR 3, or you're going to get the same round with the XESS 1.2 balanced, you can see that although we do still get that dip in frames per second, it is still looking a lot better. Now you can reduce that render scale down a little bit more to eke out a couple of frames per second difference in town, and it really doesn't make up for the quality loss. So I would keep it up at the 80% before getting it a lot better out and about and in other buildings. Let us know in the comments below if you're gonna be diving back into Starfield. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.